you think of concrete as hard and harsh, right. but when you can cast a fingerprint in it, yeah. it's, it still amazes me. Yeah. We knew we were wanting to sculpt the bench, so the workers were looking at this and they said it was just a plain smooth slab, and then you could see they put clay on it and formed the clay into the design. Right. And so like the clouds, you can see they just took their thumbs yeah. and shoved the clay. And there's how many different places you can see the fingerprints of the person who molded the clay. <laughs> then the mold was made from that, and yeah. every piece we pour will have that person's fingerprints in them. Okay, most of our molds now have a latex liner, which gives us more detail. It enables to have more detail in the pattern. A hard mold needs to be able to pull straight off. Right. And we'll then leave more seam marks and we cannot get the same detail. Uh, mm -hmm. The latex will pull off just like a rubber glove and then has the hard fiberglass mother mold to hold the latex mm -hmm. in place. And we pour most of our pieces upside down mm -hmm. as we vibrate the pieces which releases air bubbles out, you get your best finish on the bottom and it just gives a better finish on the work. Um, we have the vibrating tables to help mm -hmm. consolidate the concrete and uh, as our company logo states, it's made to withstand Canadian winters. We use pretty much the <laughs> latest technology. Um, we have additives we put in our concrete, right. so just like an MTO or a hydro spec concrete, uh, it needs to be made to withstand yeah. the weather. So here's so country, country, country garden. garden. All right. How long have you been here? We opened in '99. I've been in concrete for well, over 25 years, so. Yeah. We have one over there with a finish on it. Yeah. Oh. So we're quite uh, thrilled with this one for yeah. the first piece that uh, one of my workers sculpted it. Oh. And, uh, and we did create one of our first pieces last year. Most of our molds we have purchased. Right. But last year we did create um, the veteran bench. Oh, I didn't. Um, which uh, we did right from drawings to sculpting it out of clay and then we made the mold and we're pouring it. So. Do you do like custom work or is it all kind of... Um, the custom work we can put custom inlays into the concrete or custom finishes. We do need the mold. We cannot change the shape of the piece. We would have to have a separate mold for that. 